Welcome to the fifth installment in a series of videos about how to construct simple logic gate programs using nothing but your Arduino, the serial monitor, and some code. The videos from this point forward will assume that you've checked out those that have come before, especially the videos associated with implementing AND and OR gates in Arduino code. To get started, in this video, we'll walk through the modifications necessary to convert your OR gate program or your AND gate program, either way, into a NAND gate program. As always, our very first step is to be re-familiarized with the truth functional behavior or the input output behavior associated with the particular gate we want to implement in software, in this case the NAND gate. The NAND gate is just like it implies. It's a not AND gate. It's an inversion of the AND gate. So all the truth value outputs or all the ones and zero outputs are just inverted from the way an AND gate works. Namely, a NAND gate's output is false whenever both of its inputs are true. In all other cases, its output is true. Or, in terms of ones and zeros, a NAND gate's output is zero whenever both of its inputs are ones. In all other cases, its output will be one. Simple enough. Now, we need that behavioral rule. We need to articulate it in a way and capture it so that we can turn it into an if test in our code. One way to do it would be to say a NAND gate's output is false whenever both of its inputs are true. Otherwise, its output is true. We can update our design and program sketch to reflect that behavior rule. At step three, we can say if both inputs into our NAND gate function that we're going to create in just a second are true, then set output to false. Otherwise, set output true. No problem there. Now the modifications. We have our OR gate program. We'll, we'll immediately need to update the title to NAND gate program. Description of simple software and serial monitor implementation of NAND gate behavior. Global variables stay the same. Function prototypes instead of OR gate function. We need NAND gate function. In the welcome message, welcome to the NAND gate program. The collecting user inputs will stay exactly the same. At the function call, the gate function call, we'll need to update it to match the prototype NAND gate function. The play again structure stays exactly the same. Special purpose input function stays the same. And the AND gate function. Well, this will be the NAND gate function. We just need to change our names. That will take care of all of the cosmetic what's displayed to the serial monitor as well as avoid compiler errors. We'll have been consistent in terms of what we've referred to this function in the prototype, in its call, and now in its instantiation in the code. The core move we need to make is to alter the if test. Remember, I need the behavioral rule associated with the AND gate is that whenever both of its inputs are true, its output is false. So we need to do, and then in the else, we update NAND gate output is true. So if the user enters a T for input 1 and a T for input 2, the NAND gate's output, what will be displayed on the serial monitor, will be false. If they enter any other combination of T's and F's, the NAND gate output will be true. Let's test this. Verify it. No compiler errors. 
and to upload the code. Open the serial monitor. Welcome to the NAND gate program. Select no line ending setting. Enter the first truth value. So let's test that unique behavior associated with NAND gates. Namely, it should output false when both of its inputs are true. Input one is true, true. NAND gate output is false. In all other cases, it should output true. So do we want to play again? Yes. True for the first value, false for the second. NAND gate output is true. Do we want to play again? Yes. False for the first input, true for the second. NAND gate output is true. Play one more time. Say both of its inputs are false. NAND gate output is true. We have successfully implemented the behavior of a NAND gate in Arduino code. Hope this video was helpful. Stay tuned to the next installment where we look at implementing NOR gates in Arduino code. If you like this video, please click like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.